back to Camera Crash Cars. That's my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. I am definitely having a good day. I'll tell you why. It's new moon today. So today is kind of, well, okay, new moon is Monday. So tomorrow is new moon. I'm going to post this hopefully today, Sunday. If not, it's going to go up Monday. So the solar eclipse is actually tomorrow. But since the solar eclipse is happening tomorrow, I'm going to go up to Cables Lake, which is um, near Lake Tahoe. It's about an hour and a half from Lake Tahoe. So you guys, it's right here on the map if you guys want to look at it. So what I guess is there is a really good view of the Milky Way and obviously guys, I love to shoot the Milky Way. If you haven't, go check out my Instagram. It's a total sellout moment right here, but go check out my Instagram. Um, and you can see more about my uh, Milky Way and astrophotography there. I post a bunch of that there, so if you wanna look at that, go ahead, check it out. Check it out there, all right, enough of that. So I'm gonna go shoot the Milky Way. Actually, I let me show you what I'm gonna shoot it on here. I'm shooting it on my new Rokinon 24mm f1.4 lens. Um, I just got this in the mail last Saturday, so I've had it for about a week. Now I've got a couple of Milky Way shots from my property, but today is going to be a better viewing Milky Way as the Milky Way will be visible for longer. So I'm going to take out my new lens. It's an f1.4 like I said before, so it should let a crazy amount of light in, and I'm really excited to see how this performs. Um, it's nice because it's manual focus, so I can just take it up there mainly focus in the dark. I shouldn't have to worry so I'm definitely going to be doing a review on that lens but for now I'm going to drive up about an hour and a half to Cables Lake and go take some cool Milky Way shots. Uh, what I've seen on Google from that location is some pretty wicked shots so let's go ahead and get there now. Cables Lake is a very, uh, very dark sky zone, I guess, and the Milky Way is very visible from there. So I'm taking my dog Bailey here, and we're going to go shoot the Milky Way tonight. So let's do this. All right, guys. So an hour and a half drive from my house, 9:30 at night. I am now here at Cables Lake, and you guys can't probably see much behind me. You can probably, if you're lucky, hear the water. I'm guessing that's going to be a loud part of my audio. Um, so, anyways, the Milky Way has risen, and the galactic center, galactic core, is now visible over the snow-peaked mountains to behind me in the lake. You guys see the foreground and the water goes right down there um, there's some water down there in the mountains lead off to the back and the Milky Way behind it so the conditions out here are actually pretty decent there's a bunch of cloud coverage from uh, a rainstorm that actually hit here earlier this, today and uh, so we have a couple of dark clouds which are actually right now over the center of the Milky Way so the galactic center is actually covered up by some uh, clouds so I'm waiting for that to pass off uh, before I filmed this segment of the video I actually took a panorama of the Milky Way so I think it's like nine or ten shots and uh, so yeah I got the whole scene here is pretty cool uh, there's snow-capped mountains over there uh, we're at around 8,500 feet or so in elevation above sea level so it's quite cold up here uh, even though it's the middle of summer or practically still summertime here it's pretty cold from where I came from from my house which is around 90 degrees it's now like probably 60 degrees 70 degrees up here so quite a big climate change but I'm getting some cool shots um, so, I want to show you this. I'm actually using my new lens. This is the Rokinon 24mm um, f1.4. Um, I actually got the cinema, uh, cinema version, which is T1.5. So, anyways, it's still a very good lens. And the amount of light which it lets in is just absolutely phenomenal. I can shoot uh, 15 second exposure ISO 800 on f1.4 and get a very detailed shot of the Milky Way. And even the mountains in the background are showing up nice and clean. And the ISO is very low, so I can take it into Photoshop, I can merge it together, I can get a very nice quality uh, photo in the end. I'm gonna go shoot some more locations, so let's go along for the ride. I gotta watch out where I stand because these things are, are sick, because these things are crazy big. There's a bunch of them out here too, so I'm guessing it's just because of the rocks out here, but hopefully nothing too bad. Now I've made my second composition, and there's some canoe boats here that are left that have been left behind by some campers they've probably gone up and they're sleeping overnight and the, their canoes are just parked here on the shoreline so what I've gone ahead and done is I focused my camera on them and then I've just gone up changing focus ever so slightly just to take a shot here they can go up and take a shot of the sky so that the ground is in focus and the sky is in focus and then it'll be like a multiple expo uh, focus blend and a panorama mixed together so I'm shooting a 24 millimeter lens and on my APS-C or AP, whatever crop sensor camera, uh, it's a Nikon so it multiplies by 1.5, I'm shooting on an equivalent focal length around 32 millimeters. So I'm a little bit um, zoomed in than I typically run on like 18 millimeter which translates to uh, like 
24 millimeter or something like that. So it's a little bit different since this is a prime lens. I can't change the zoom on this lens, but I can get really nice detailed shots in the Milky Way. So I just gotta make some panoramas if I want to incorporate the foreground. So I'm hoping it comes out good. If it does, it'll make it into this video. If not, it doesn't make it into this video. I'm gonna go find another composition. I think I'll walk down the shoreline a little bit and hopefully there are some trees or something there that just kind of pique my interest and I'll take a shot. So I'll see you then. All right guys, so I am no longer my face is not here, but trust me, I'm here. So you can see there's kind of a tree here, and we've got this foreground that's all rocky, and uh, so yeah, you can see what I'm going for here. On the back of my camera, you can see better because it has way more sensitivity to light. Anyways, guys, so the Milky Way is actually right behind that tree. You can see some of the clusters of stars, which is pretty much at the base of the Milky Way. So this is going to be kind of framing it. The tree will be the foreground interest element, you know. I always like my foreground in the Milky Way. And then the Milky Way will be behind it, and uh, it'll be pretty big. So hopefully this comes out good. Let's take the shot. So I'm actually on um, 15 second exposure. Now 13 seconds is actually what is recommended with the rule of 500. Um, but I'm going a little bit over it because I want a little bit more detail on the ground. As you guys can see, it's cranking ass up crazy right now. It's probably in the million range, but uh, I'm good. Now, all, uh, although there's no f-stop showing here, I'm actually shooting um, f1.4 and ISO 800. So this is a pretty decent shot for the scene. Let's go ahead and cut the lights. And now I'll just take the picture like so. All right guys, so the cloud is still above. You can see it. it's actually moving pretty quickly. So I'm hoping next 15, 20 minutes it's fully gone. But the shot looks really nice. You can see it's really well composed. I like how the shot looks. I can't wait to see what it looks like on my computer, but I am going to have to uh, focus stack. As you guys can see, the stars in the background are bokeh a little bit, or this a little bit out of focus, so I'll have to fix that in Photoshop with a little bit of focus uh, merging. But this shot looks nice. I'm just going to wait out a little bit here and wait for the clouds to move so I can get a clear shot of the galactic core. So, it's the next day, obviously you guys can tell, um, it's today, so it's Sunday today, oh yeah, so, the Milky Way and the clouds did not cooperate last night, so as I was saying, I was hoping for the clouds to move, I sat out there for, 20, uh, for 15 minutes, 15 minutes into 20 minutes, 20 minutes into 30, and the cloud just kept getting more and more in the way of the galactic core, I had the shadow on my head, so, yeah, so obviously, you know, the, I wasn't able to take any more Milky Way shots last night. But you know, that's a good example. You, as a photographer, you can't control the weather. As much as I didn't want any clouds to be there, what can I do? You know, honestly, what can I do? Even now today, if I come out here, you can see up there, hopefully in the in the sky, there's a bunch of clouds. So even if I wanted to go back there at night and shoot the Milky Way, I I can't simply because there's going to be a lot of cloud coverage up there. So I knew there was going to be clouds last night, and I took the chance. I got there for 15 minutes. I was able to take some good photos. I showed you that. Uh, I'll show you them at the end of the video. But unfortunately, the shot of the tree, as much as I wanted that to work out, it just didn't happen. So, you know, it's a good reminder. As a photographer, guys, if the weather's bad, you can't change it. So sometimes work with it. But I am going to go up there next month. So I'm going to do another vlog video up there. If you guys like this one, go ahead and smack that like button, and I will do another one there. Uh, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I like reading them. As always, subscribe to be a Sub Club member, and I will see you next time.